Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and we've got Jamie here joining us today for another demonstration. Hello. Can you see our again. antlers? Very Christmassy. Trying to. <laughs> <Gone>. <laughs> okay, so I did a card the other day, well I did a tag actually, tell a lie. Um, I just having to play around with this one with using the mica sprays and thought that you might like to have a go at doing this. Definitely. Have you have you used them before? Yes. And how do you find them? Yeah, it does create a really nice background actually. Mm. I found them quite easy because it's an instant background. Yeah. And the bit that I like is if you flick a bit of water at it. Have you tried that? Don't think so. Okay, maybe we'll give that a go as well because it gives a total different effect again. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, we've both got a couple of uh, colours that we have chosen ourselves yes. today. So we've got one of our watercolour card tags. I absolutely love these because it's a quick, easy card to make. And you can add a you know, little bit of ribbon at the top. But I, there's just something about tags that I really yeah. love. And I don't find them too overwhelming either. You know, sometimes you're just faced with like a big square piece of card and you think, where do I start? I find these easier. <laughs> Okay, so I've got two fairies here. Which one would you like? Oh, I'll go for this one. It's on my side. Do you know what? I knew you were going to pick that. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I think <laughs> yeah. it's because you have to pick something different. Yeah, you can me. never go with what you're told to do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So that, to me, that would be my safer choice because it's already been done. But you would go, no, 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 no. I'm doing something completely different. <laughs> well, how does this song go? I did it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Is that how it goes? No, absolutely. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, back to it. So I'm going to ink up in the nocturne. Okay. And why do we use this ink, Jay? Because it gets all the detail. Yeah. And it repels any water, so mm -hmm. it's like an oil-based ink. Mm -hmm. So it means you can chuck a load of water at it over the top, it won't budge. Uh, Whereas if you were to stamp with elements, but you get a total different effect. Um, it's not as uh, detailed. No. Yeah. So let's just pop that down. Just in the middle. Yep. Good press because we're, we're stamping onto watercolour card which has a little bit more texture. Okay. So we just need to let it rest, let the ink soak in and you will get that nice sharp image then. She says famous last words. There we go, thankfully. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> it's right that we're using the VersaFarm for this card as well because of what we were just saying about using the water yeah. onto the cup, because then it would pick up the yeah, phone. Yeah, exactly, it? So exactly. So that fairy will stay put no matter what we throw at it now. So I've got Amble Green and I've got Chestnut Bay. So these have both got micas in, so you need to give that a good shake. And oh, I've got... got... Rattling? Can you hear that? Oh, it's us! <laughs> <laughs> I kept hearing this light jingling. Yeah. I was getting excited thinking it's Father yeah. Christmas on his way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so guys, today, um, I've got mahogany twist and spring moss. Lovely. Jingle jangle. <laughs> now, do you know what I like about this bit? When you stamp first and then you spray the micas over the top, look how the mica sticks to the oh, yeah. Can you see but that? But not the colour. Yeah. Yeah. Just give it a go, Jay. And um oh, okay. Oh, one more. I'll leave it leave it at that and then yeah. go with a bit of pink. Okay. The colour will dry lighter. Yeah. Now if you feel I'm touching, I'm not just Okay. If you feel that it's too dark, 
Remembering that these are water-based, you can always go in with a bit of water as well. But also remember that all these colours are going to dry a lot lighter. Yeah. So although that seems quite heavy at the moment, you can see already how mine's changed. Yeah, yeah you can see where, where most of the, there's the stuff that gets stuck there, but the pools of where it is, is clearly darker than yeah. where it's already started to dry here. Yeah, and you can always dab the, 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 those little pools up if you like. So I'm going to dry that off anyway now. But yeah, I, I can remember I just tried spraying over the top one day and just got really excited by the effect because of how the mica sticks to the stamped image. Yeah. That's very nice. Thank you. Go. Give it a blast. Give it a blast. So. Is that dry? Yeah. I don't know if it is. That is dry. Listen to your mother. <laughs> so what I'm going to show you now is that watery effect. Oh yeah. We don't need to do an awful lot because I want to do other techniques on here, but just to give you an idea, I'm going to do it on the darker bit here. Put a little bit of water. So if you just leave that for a couple of seconds and you can already see that the ink has been pulled up to the surface. Yeah, yeah. You see? Yeah. But it gives mm. you a really nice effect, yeah, doesn't it? It's a nice effect, yeah? actually. So yeah. much you can do with this. I might put a bit more here because it's gone quite distressed there. Okay. Just so I can do that. Okay, you want to go, I do can't you? do that. It's yeah. a nice colour, that, isn't it? It is nice. You can see the mica moving. I know it is. It's oh god, you nearly poked me in the eye. Then. Oh, I forgot oh, I got the handers and the hat on. It's <laughs> 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 fine. <laughs> and sometimes, as well, the mica like collects and it leaves like a little nice. I know it's like sheen a thread, the, yeah, yeah. isn't it? A, a, a sort of vein running through. Yeah. Right. Oh wait, I need to do a bit, a bit of, of water flicking. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just so that you, you know what you can do, really. Yeah. Don't get carried away. No. Okay, I'll stop there. <laughs> so, I am going to use the blue, the warm breeze. Mm. I've got a verse. Just stamp a few words along the edge now. Mm -hmm. Just to give it that little bit of a, a distressed edge. Um, question. Yes. How do you clean these so it sticks again? All I would do is grab a little bit of a kitchen towel or a cloth or something, put a bit of water on and just give it a bit of a wipe. That's it. And it's all sticky again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that simple. It is really that simple. <laughs> Yeah. I thought there was going to be some long cleaning no, process nothing, going on. Nothing but... technical. No. Um, water is your best bet. Obviously don't saturate your stamp in water because that would damage it. Don't use any kind of sort of alcohol no. base cleaning products. They don't work with any kind of polymer stamps. So the kindest way is always just a bit of water and a cloth. That's it. And just wipe it down. Oh yeah. Yeah. I am now going you. to use God, the stencil. I wasn't even sticking before. <laughs> See? Proof in the pudding. Proof in the pudding. 
that one's the more green. And I'm going to go with green. Yeah. Go for that. Mm. Right. So I am using the gilding polish, which is the metallics. And then we'll use a different stencil at the top there. I've got a little bit of, what have I got here? This one is Copper Shine. So what stencils do you, would you like? Um, I quite like the pebble effect on that one. Yeah? yeah Go please. for it. <laughs> no, blue. I don't mind the blue. Isn't that lovely? Mm. That is wow. stunning, that colour. It's really nice, actually. Mm. <laughs> Can't Ooh. leave me to do art on my oh, own. Oh, look at that. You're not using your brush, then. You're using that. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know you used that. It's fine. You can use that. But again, it won't give you the detail. So if you, um, want, if you want to yes. swap to the brush, yes. you can. Just pick a blue one, that's it. Are you, you're encroaching on my space now, do you know that? I can't, <laughs> I can't move right now. <laughs> so I've got to stand over here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't do my artwork. <laughs> do you see how you get into all the like nooks yeah, and crannies with the, that was with a the big brush? Game changer. Yeah. Boom. Look at that. Nice. Isn't it? Love that. That's really nice actually. You know, it's just, it's learning about all these different techniques, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Look at that on there. <laughs> That's nice. You do get some great effects, don't you? Just on yeah, that piece just of paper. Yeah, just by accident. Even, even the verses, yeah. you know? Yeah. Can you even read mine all the way through actually? It's cold in there, it's freezing. Do you want me to read it? Or you down to read it? Whilst the animals are sleeping. Bear trees stand tall as shadows fall. Dusk is here, dusk is here, and surrounds us all. But the moonlight befriends us and glows bright white. We can now find a path on this dark, dark night. Mm. Did you write these? Yeah, I do write the verses. I enjoy, I really enjoy working with words. Oh, that's nice, actually. Isn't it? Yeah. Nice copper. Copper. Yeah. Right. Hmm, is this gold? I might go with the gold one. Oh, gold to... Copper. Yeah. To go where now? The top here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goes with the... I think they're both gold. That one's bronze. Yeah. Um, they go nice with the, with the pink, wouldn't it? Yeah. The red. I think. Yeah, I think or so. Or would it just... Like, you might lose oh, it, right. you? Let's, do you know how we test this? Yeah, how? Oh. Yeah, you can no, lose it, yeah, aren't you? No. You need a strong colour. It's a good idea, that one, isn't it? Yeah, very good. <laughs> that would stand out. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look. Do you want to have a go with this one? Yeah. Oh yeah. It will stand out. So. Might use that one, Jay. Which one? Oh, like the teal kind of. Yeah. What colour is it? I'll look in a minute. Cayman. Oh. Uh, yeah, Cayman's nice actually. That's one of my favourite stickers. Is it? Yeah. So well, I think I'm finding out more and more the blue is definitely my favourite colour. <laughs> Through doing these cards, I always gravitate towards yeah, the, the blues. Yeah. 
So all I'm doing here is just dragging these stickles, probably blocking the camera actually. Try and stand away. Yes. Oh yeah, that yeah. is lovely, isn't it? Over the copper. Mm. Yeah, that is gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of um, the colours that you get in Raku firings. Yeah, when we did ceramics. Um, oh yeah, I know what you mean. The outside firing. Yeah. And um, sort of natural coppers and greens that would come through as pots that would oxidise or reduce and the colours were just incredible. Yeah. It's one of my favourite things when we did ceramics was the raku firing. The raku firing? Yeah. I think it's a Japanese technique. Is it? Yeah. Can't remember now. Many, many moons ago. So I've got my stickles on. Yes. So you can choose a colour now. We've got loads of stickles. Yeah, I think that would look quite nice. It would work with this, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm going to put some red in here as well. Yeah. I'm also thinking that. What about mine? Or about yeah. yours? Both. <laughs> but if you drag it, just do it in a line. It doesn't matter if it's broken. It. You don't want it to be one continuous line, you want it to be kind of broken a little. This gives a nice effect, I think. Getting carried away now. Going silent again. Yeah. I'm going to stop now. I'm quite happy with that as it is now. What about you? How are you doing? Just at the top. Mm. Just throughout. Mm. It kind of looks like there's a tree with, you know, yeah. foliage coming down. Right, how are we doing? We we done? I think we're done. Yeah? You happy? I'm, I'm very happy with this card. Yeah. Tag. Tag. So I hope you can see that under the camera, that lovely mica. And then we've got the metallics from the gilding polishes as well, giving that beautiful effect. So there we go, guys. I hope that you've enjoyed watching today's demonstration. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes. And we hope that we haven't, um, well, we hope we've inspired you. Yes. <laughs> and not put you off. No. We hope you enjoyed it. Right. You take care and we will see you very soon. We'll see you Merry soon. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye for now. <laughs> Oh dear.